Well, there are plenty of weather headlines in the news right now. No question about it. And while the major stories seem very far away, we know they can affect us here in Minnesota from the hurricanes hitting the Gulf Coast, more storms spinning offshore, record sized wildfires burning up and down the West Coast through three states. The United States is really just getting pummeled, and we wanted to bring in University of St. Thomas climate expert John Abraham for some insight. John, thanks for being with us this morning. Pleasure to be on with you guys. Let's start with wildfires. Obviously, some of the damage we're seeing is because of where people are choosing to build their homes. But how much is climate change fueling kind of the record season we're seeing? Well, it's a big part. I mean, climate change is making the climate warmer and and parts of the climate are getting both warmer and drier. And that's really bad for forest fires like the ones that we're seeing. So. Climate change may not start a forest fire, but it can make them more severe and harder to stop when they get going. Interesting. So it's not that a warmer climate causes a fire to spark. Those are other things we hear about, like power lines or uh, sometimes people doing stupid things. But getting it under control and even having it naturally stop, which is what we used to see with wildfires, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So climate change is creating these warmer, drier environments that cause the fire to explode once it starts. And it's causing it to spread really rapidly. And and we're seeing that in the data. I mean, this yeah. past August was the third warmest August on record in the U.S. And we've had a string of really, really hot years and a lot of droughts. And what we're seen in the U.S. is happening around the world. So this is this isn't a surprise. This is something science has predicted. All right. Yeah. Thanks for the insight on that one. Let's change uh, directions a little bit. Talk about hurricanes. Now, Hurricane Sally just made landfall in Alabama yesterday. It's the most active hurricane season in 15 years. Now, what are the theories on what's happening here? Well, that's a really good question. And hurricanes are part of a, somewhat of a mystery, but some things we know. We know that uh, storms and hurricanes can be made more powerful with climate change. And the reason why is we humans have emitted greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that end up warming the entire planet, including the oceans, and the oceans are what fuel these storms. So with climate change, we don't necessarily think there's gonna be more hurricanes, but we're concerned that they're becoming stronger mm -hmm. because we're supercharging the oceans. Right. And so that's what we're seeing. It is not necessarily more, but mm -hmm. stronger storms. And it's interesting with Sally too, right when it got up, you know, closer, closer to the floor, it really strengthened right before it made landfall. Boy, that's right. And if you look at the temperatures in the Gulf where Sally went, they were really warm. Uh, part of that warming was due to what humans are doing to the environment. And that it's that extra warming that's supercharging these storms and it's causing uh, more intense winds, more rainfall, and importantly, more storm surge. And all of that means there's more damage, uh, loss of life. Over at University of St. Thomas, you work with maybe some of the future engineers that uh, hopefully will be solving some of these problems from, from their standpoint. Is there optimism or hope for you when you deal with those young people and the things you're, you're teaching them? Boy, with climate change, there's enough bad news that if there wasn't some optimism, it'd be hard to go to work. But there's a <laughs> lot of optimism because what we're doing is trying to provide solutions to the environmental problems. Uh, things like, like how do you generate clean energy in ways that don't make the climate worse? How do you power our, our houses and buildings and cars without polluting? And fortunately, at the University of St. Thomas, we're developing engineers who are learning the new technologies that are being employed around the world. There's going to be a fight for the clean energy economy, and we want our students to win, and we want our country to win. John Abraham with the University of St. Thomas. We appreciate it, John. Thank you. Have a great rest of the morning, guys. You as well.